So this is uh, the oversill, but one that's already been cut down, been cut down on both sides. So you can see it's been split all the way down. So the next thing I want to do is, is while I've got these seals off, what I want to do is have a, a jacking system on, a, on the side of the car. Now, on a Mini normally, uh, uh, there's a bracket in here which is welded onto the inner sill, but it's not welded onto the outer sill, but it is the inner, it just pokes through uh, the, the outer. Um, now, it's no coincidence that it's actually in line with a cross member because obviously that's the strongest point of the floor. And obviously it's in this position because the maximum weight is on the engine and the gearbox at the front. So they've obviously brought it to this central point so it lifts the car up sideways. So unless you've got that original jacking system and that original jack, you need to make a plate like I did for Alex Toon. Um, but because this is going to be a track day car or hill climb, sprint, whatever, we, we might be changing tyres quite a bit. Um, you know, for slicks or wet tyres or comp different compounds, whatever. So what I'm intending to do is, I've already done it on the other side, but just to take you from the start. So what I'm going to do is, is cut this uh, inner sill out, which is right in line with the box section inside the car. When, once I've cut this out, what I'll do then is, is make a, a box section like this. And you can see I've already tapered it. Uh, and that slots inside there which obviously then will come in line with, with the, uh, the hole in, that's already in there. Um, so this basically slots in line and, and, and then you can just weld it at the end. What, what I will show you on the other side is how I've done it. I've put a box section underneath it. I've got to weld it all in yet, but that will give it the strength. I mean, if you can lift the car on on just the plate being welded to this inner wing, you can certainly lift it the way we're going to do it. It'd be much, much stronger. The unfortunate thing is, is um, because I want to use the front of the box cross member and the top of the cross member, I have to bring it to us because I want to, I'm going to drill holes inside the cross member in, internally here, which you'll see. Um, so I can weld it externally, top and bottom, top and side and I can weld it here as well, so it should be extremely strong. So that's, uh, and I'll take you around the other side and show you how the setup well, is. I've just got these little small clamps on it. These little tiny ones are, are really good for doing panels where uh, you just need enough clamping force to get them on. So that's the outer sill. As you can see, unfortunately, the hole or the square hole in the, of the square cutout is, is the wrong size for this particular box section but I wanted something that was a good tolerance fit and as you can see as you can see if I if I if I hold that down you can see that's going to slide in there very very nicely a nice, nice tolerance fit to, to lift the car up on so the idea is is there'll be a round tube integral of this which I can use on my quick lift jack to get both wheels off the ground and uh, so that the whole thing can be jacked up very quickly and very easy. Obviously on this car there's going to be a eight, um, eight point um, safety devices roll cage. So there'll be a plate here on the front and a plate at the back which we will then, I, I will then, uh, the plate that's on the outside is welded to the car and then bolted through the body. Um, I will put a half moon shape pipe on it so that the axle stands can rotate on that. So the idea is you lift it quickly one side with this and put your two axle stands on it, do the same the other side. Uh, that's how the system's going to work. So as I said, that's the outside of it. You can see there's the cell we cut off again. So this system here, the reason I'm doing it like this is, you can see it's already marked, is for two reasons. One is I've got a piece of box in there so it's got all the weight to push down on. Plus this is the box or the corner. I'll show you in a, in a second. I'll brick pick the camera up. And it's right in the corner. So I can actually drill some holes in that side and in the top and catch the weld at either side of this. So not only is it not only is it strong there and there, it'll be also up against this piece. And then this will be used just to uh, help with taking the, the, the weight across the whole uh, step.
So this might give it a, 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 give you a better idea or a better look. Initially, I ended up cutting that, which I will bring in, bring this back down, but the sill will cover it over anyway. So the idea is, is that box section goes right in. And you can see there's another one here. So in fact, if I bring this light over, possibly, I think you can see it better there. You can actually see there's the, the box section. So the idea is, is that that is square onto it. Uh, and it's going to be extremely strong and then I can just tack weld it on the outside as well so all the obviously you're lifting the car up so all the weights pushing down on there and it's also inside the uh, cross member which will be super strong um, no problem lifting it up and down uh, it's got to be I would think I don't know five times stronger than the original system so that's what I'll do and start getting this in so you can see I've cut the holes there I've opened with an hole opener and then again on the sides there you can see it so uh, I've put some Brunox in there which is a rust treatment and uh, put some primer in it now and then I can get this section welded, welded in so that'll be absolutely solid there and then put the base plate under it uh, there's some I won't be putting the sill back on this today because I've got to repair this I'm well, not repair but I put the um, a pillar cover plate in which is here it's a repair section as you can see so that's got to go in there and cover the a pillar completely but i've got to do some work on the top so what i'll do now is i'll uh, weld it in and i'll show you what it looks like after i've just welded the six spots in um, and i'll pop the cover on so you can see and then uh, Hopefully I can get it all welded up and uh, start on the other side. The other side has the A post cover already in, as you can see here. You see it has a new one in there. Uh, just got to clean these, these edges down here, otherwise they're going to be a problem. And obviously prime it. But I'll cut this one open first and then uh, do the cleaning up later. So. I'll bring you back when I've got this uh, welded up. So as you can see the, the box section is now in here and here and here. So what I'll do is I'll just weld it in now. sometimes to see with the shadows. Uh, another um, modification I want to do is, is we're going to be using high lows on here and um, what we can do is make them adjustable while the weight is on the car. Uh, they come with a, uh, an allen key which is around 40 centimeters long um, and obviously you can see from that bar this is where the trumpet or the rubber would be, molten rubber uh, cone and then the high-low in here and also the allen keys there to turn it so you need to go through the valance and through here 
So just to line it up, what I've come up with is, is this tube isn't long enough, but basically we we fit a tube in there, which goes in there, and then just pokes through inside this part here, which will allow me to put the Allen key straight through. Because if you don't have that, you can imagine trying to find. There's a lot of movement there trying to find that hole to get that in and be quite difficult. So by having an internal tube inside it there, right to the back, and then all we do is attach it with a couple of self-tappers on the back of the valance. So that will go right through. I'll obviously taper this down or, or uh, file it down so it fits just inside that hole. And obviously there's a big enough tolerance uh, to allow the Allen key to, to go in. So that's that's another modification we'll be doing. That should work quite well. And, uh, yeah, I think that will save a lot of messing around because um, adjusting it with a weight on it is going to be the best way to uh, change the, uh, the settings on the suspension. So, um, what I've done is I've refitted this uh, because obviously the square was, was too big, I had to elongate it. So, as you can see, it's all welded in there now. Absolutely solid. It's got uh, four internally on the, on the side and on the top. Plus, it's all welded in here. It's absolutely solid. And as you can see, that fits right on the money where it should do. So, obviously, once that's down, what I'll then do then is, is I'll weld here. And right, not on the bottom here because it might be difficult to clean, but I'll weld the sides. Okay, so what I've actually done is I've put some steel underneath it to bridge the hole, and obviously once I weld over the top of it and clean it, you won't see it. But I wanted to do that to give this a double thickness, so that when I weld it against this steel uh, box, there'll be plenty of meat on it and it won't blow through. So, as you can see there, it's there. So I've just tacked it in place. Um, what I'll do is I'll weld it all properly, but I just wanted to take it in place and see that it fitted correctly. And as you can see, it does. It's a nice, it's a nice fit. And then obviously, the piece of tubing just go in there. You can see. And that's it inside. And I can move it up and down. Should be good. So that's it. So this will be the actual bar that's going in. And you might think, well, that's pretty small. Um, but there's a tubular going on the end of that, which is not as big as this. It'll probably be half this size. It'll be like this. Cut down here and mold it directly in, but I might actually cut a little square and drop it down so I can get a really good weld on it and then the quick jack will go under here so it can actually turn the whole way around that's how it's going to work so that's it so I'm going to put this uh, A-frame step here, here in the corner and then I'll bring you back uh, when we've done that but uh, yeah the idea is there and I think it will going to work so I'll leave it on this one and I'll, when I've done more welding, um, I'll bring you back. So stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby and looking for another one. Bye for now.